and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so here i have what you would call a database now if you have a database you should most likely open it in microsoft access but i don't have it because it costs money but anyways so here is this little application that my school provided us with and basically we can insert some sql code which you don't need to know yet and then it will displace whatever it needs to display so in this video i'm going to kind of give a brief overview of what a database is just the basics and then as we continue with learning how to connect databases how to display them on in Delphi, how to do this, how to do that. As we go continue to kind of do that, I am going to explain more on what a database is, how it works and all of that. I'm just going to just show you guys how it works, how it looks, you know. So if we go here and we search for calc, we should get a LibreOffice calc. Now LibreOffice calc is quite a lot like Excel. And Excel itself, you can kind of see as somewhat of a database-like application. So to explain it, this is a database, and or this is the table inside of a database. A database basically holds data. It just holds information of things you maybe need to keep track of. For example, this is a table CD. It gives you the CD's artist, the name of the CD, its genre, its replacement value, and its owner ID. We'll get more to what owner IDs and stuff like that are. But for now, just note that it gives it in columns. And then there are these. These are seen as rows. So in each row, there are there is something that is special to that specific thing you're trying to do. So artist, the artist of CD10, that's the name, is LL Cool J. The genre of CD10 is jazz. Its replacement value is 130, its owner ID is 1. We go down maybe to like here. The artist Ashley Simpson. She has created the CD autobiography. It is of the genre pop and its replacement value is 120 and its owner ID is 2. So as you can see, it just holds the basic information. It's, it's basically an Excel sheet. You insert something like um, cost or um, user name and then you can go to like age then you can insert something like John and he's 22 and then you can go Lucas he is 15 and as you can see it just it's kind of organizes data it kind of keeps it in an organized way it's the same thing when you go to databases it is you, you create an organized a table with a bunch of information stored in it, a bunch of data and that's the brief overview of what a database is it's just something that keeps a bunch of data together now, as we get deeper into working with databases we will learn more about it but for right now i just want to show you how a database looks and what it does in the basics we'll also most likely be creating our own databases at some point but for now the databases i'll be using in this course that will be coming up they will all be included inside or on in the description and if you just look at the instructions on how to get it you can get it within a few seconds and then you can follow along using that database because i looked online and it's extremely hard to get databases so and the database has to be made with microsoft access otherwise delphi can't use it so i'm borrowing a few from our school and i'll just be putting it there in the description you can just go download it and use it along 
to help you with your Delphi. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will try my best to explain it to you. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.